I really enjoy working with collectible models, 3D printing them, painting them up. It's just such a rewarding hobby. And today I have a brand new project for you all. I am going to work on this model of Jinx from the TV series Arcane. I have already 3D printed the model, cleaned it up and assembled it. So now it just needs to be painted. Just finished priming this model of Jinx and she just looks incredible. Just take a look at this. Really, really nice and smooth, very clean model. And I actually tried a completely different way of smoothening out all the layer lines this time. I simply applied a lot of primer. I sand down the model. You need to do that. You can't avoid that. But after that, instead of applying resin or any other kinds of mysterious coats, I simply used primer. One coat, two coats, three coats. I actually ended up applying around seven coats of primer. And the way of doing it is quite simple. You buy a cheap primer, you apply a coat. After you have applied the coat, make sure that it dries well. Apply a second coat and keep going. I actually used three days on applying all of the coats on this model. But just take a look at how she turned out. Even the areas that was very, very obscured by layer lines and all this stuff when we have the print on top and the lines just is very visible they are almost removed so this is actually quite a good method and it wasn't that that uh, expensive at all considering what the resin and stuff like that costs so i definitely recommend trying this personally i just love experimenting with all of these collectible models and seeing how i get the best result and this was if we do not consider the drying time, three days is a lot of time, but the work I needed to do to get this as nice as this wasn't that bad. Going down here, spray painting her, waiting a couple of hours and then applying a coat more, not bad at all and it actually turned out really nice. So uh, let's get this model painted.
You might have noticed during the painting process of this model that I had quite a bit of problems getting the model in focus and displaying it right when I filmed the painting process. And the reason for this is that this is my working area. This is where I sit, especially during winter time, and I paint my miniatures. And uh, I have my camera up here, and this camera is great for filming all the projects I have down here. An additional light, I have some lights up here. and. Um, the problem here with the Dinks model and the Caitlin model I worked on before is actually the sheer size of the model. This model is so huge, so I can't always get this camera in the correct angle, I can't get it in focus, and especially if I'm trying to airbrush something, then I simply doesn't have the room for the work. So it works fine, this area, when I'm working on classical miniature models like this, but if we just take a look at the scale comparison between these two, they are extremely different. So that is the reason that I am having a couple of problems filming my work on a model like this one of Jinx here. So um, I am, of course, always trying to improve, so I am considering how I can make some better rec recordings in the future. While I was working on the model of Jinx, I visited a sci-fi convention. And at this convention, I was so lucky as to run into a cosplayer that played Jinx. Her costume really helped me nail the final details. So a huge thank you from me to Stardust Creations for the inspiration. After a couple of days with dedicated painting, I have finally finished this beautiful model of Jinx. I am very, very happy with this result. It turned out great. If you are planning on making your own collectible model, I can definitely recommend this model of Dinks. It is designed by OXO 3D Printing and he did a model here with a lot of tiny details. So it has a lot of small features and I really, really like this model. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I certainly enjoyed working with this model. This turned out really great and I can't wait to place her beside Caitlin and uh, see how they look together. And um, if you enjoyed watching this video, if you could use the content for anything, please consider subscribing to the channel, leave a like, and uh, thank you all for watching. Have a great day everyone, and I am looking forward to uh, sharing my next project with you all.